New Year, New Tom Sandoval. Almost a year after Scandoval shocked the Bravo Nation, Tom Sandoval is proving he's moving on and possibly with a new flame. Posting this to his Instagram story on January 31st, the Schwartz and Sandy's co-owner can be seen dancing around the restaurant before moving over to model Victoria Lee Robinson. And it looks like she even plants a kiss on his cheeks. Victoria, who was previously linked to Leonardo DiCaprio back in 2016, also posts a picture with Tom to her own Instagram story of the duo smiling with their eyes closed. E! News has reached out to Tom's rep for comment, but has not yet heard back. Tom found himself in some hot water in 2023 after news of his and Raquel Levis' affair broke on Vanderpump Rules, resulting in an explosive fight with his then longtime girlfriend Ariana Maddox. Me and Raquel became like really good friends. I don't give a about Raquel! Your friendship is bullshit. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It's bullshit. You know everything. You it's know disgusting. everything. During an appearance on the Vile Files podcast in January 2024, Tom confessed he wishes for Ariana to move on and leave him behind, saying, Stop, like, focusing on, don't focus any energy on me. Leave yeah, but that's me not behind. Really for you to say. I know, but, like, it's not a good look. And D's Kelty Knight caught up with Tom Sandoval in February 2024 to talk about how he's been able to move on from the scandal and what he's looking forward to in the new season of Vanderpump Rules. Now that you get to have another season and it's not the season of Scandoval, are you relieved? Like, how are you handling that stuff? Um, definitely in therapy. Yeah. I actually currently have two therapists. My next question is, what the hell are you going to do with this house? I'm not exactly sure just yet what's going on. There's been like a lot of things, but you're going to see obviously that play out a little okay. bit throughout the season. I know you're with Ariana for a long time. If you were still speaking to her, what would you want to say to her about her Broadway debut and congratulating her on this lifelong dream? I mean, I didn't know if like that was going to happen for her. So, I mean, I'd be really proud of her. I'd probably be emotional. I hope at some point y'all can get back and laugh and like, you know. Yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll see about that. <laughs> Okay. <laughs>